Namaste. Welcome to tutorial series on SuperPro Designer for Beginner Step by Step Guide to Process Simulation. In this tutorial, uh, let us understand how to use the mixture preparation available in SuperPro Designer. Uh, this is the case study uh, which is also available uh, in the process library of SuperPro Designer uh, software. You can access this example under this miscellaneous folder. Uh, here you can notice something called as uh, mixture preparation uh, depending upon your version we can see version 12 version 13 and all uh, the same uh, from this the uh, data I have extracted uh, for this tutorial in this tutorial uh, uh, the example which I was taken contains uh, preparation of a mixture uh, having uh, uh, 15 gram per liter of Na2CO3 and uh, 5 gram per liter of NaCl in water the total quantity need to be prepared is 1500 liter per batch. So first let us see what is this uh, mixture preparation procedure is. To access the same uh, you need to go to procedure, mixing and bulk flow. Under this you can notice there is something called mixture preparation. So let us place it on the flow sheet. Now if you notice this, if you just right click on this and go to help command and you can, here there is an explanation. A mixture preparation procedure can be created by selecting the following menu. And what, are, what it does, this procedure can simulate an intelligent mixer that automatically will adjust the bulk flow of its input stream up to 5 streams you can add here in order to meet the user specification uh, describing the output composition and the flow. So you have some requirement, for example, assume that uh, your mixture consists of 5 components. So each component is having different concentration. So you, you do, based upon the concentration requirement, so this particular procedure will draw the uh, required quantity from each stream and uh, note that the unit procedure handling the intelligent mixing or mixing portion can also be and uh, can also handle back propagation requires for amount so that is uh, it can have the amount of output stream be dedicated by the downstream demands for example uh, if you know the quantity that need to be prepared for example I need to prepare uh, a media which is having five components of different concentration and I know the quantity that need to be prepared but in some cases what happens uh, you are going to use the same media in multiple places for example you need media for uh, shake flask you need your media for seed fermenter then media for main fermenter the different quantities you required so you don't know the total quantity how much is required especially when you do uh, run a process in fed batch process depending upon some criteria you add the media to the system then in that case you don't know what quantity of media is required definitely this intelligent mixer does the propagation and it will help you to calculate the quantity of uh, media required for the overall process oh. so let us uh, uh, simulate this particular case so when you read this particular uh, problem statement you can understand the three pure components are required that is one is water second one is Na2CO3 that is sodium carbonate and third one is NaCl sodium chloride let us go to this task pure components register let us register these three pure components that is uh, sodium sodium chloride sodium chloride and uh, next one sodium carbonate sodium carbonate so water is already available we no need to register again click ok so let us connect the stream uh, this is the first stream and this is the second stream and this is the third stream and this is the uh, mixture and let us rename it that is water this is water and uh, this one uh, let us rename it as NaCl and third stream uh, we can rename it as Na2 CO3, CO3 and let us rename this particular as product product okay now let us initiate these streams so let us go back to this water stream and select water and you can notice one more interesting thing is uh, by default it is selected auto just because this is uh, that's what I told intelligent mixer so depending upon the criteria it will try to draw the quantity initially it will be 100 kg post calculation these values will be changed and again we will initiate this with NaCl click ok here ok and uh, here let us initiate Na2 CO3 so we initiated the input stream uh, let us go to the uh, main uh, mixing operation let us go operation data mix so here in this dialog box you can notice that output flow specification as already told two cases one if you know what is the quantity need to be prepared yes we go with the set by user then you don't know the quantity um, how much need to be uh, required in the later stages 
then you can go with defined by the process uh, that is downstream based upon the requirement again back propagation will happen and the quantities will be calculated here. In this case, I know how much quantity need to be prepared that is uh, 1000, I need to select the volumetric flow rate that is 1500 liter and if you could able to see this uh, problem statement, the concentration of Na2 uh, CO3 is 15 gram per liter. First, let us choose the components here and one more thing you need to notice here is when you have n number of streams, you need to define n minus 1 number of streams. You no need to define all n number of streams or composition of all n streams. In this case, three components are there. For example, water, Na2CO3, NaCl. If I define for the concentration of Na2CO3 and NaCl, uh, remaining water will be automatically calculated by the software. So, the I will choose two components that is Na2CO3 and NaCl and I know to define the water but if you could able to see here the three three streams one is water NaCl and Na2CO3 and if you select here if you forget to uh, initiate the stream uh, in the starting of the simulation here also you can go back and you can add the uh, like initiate the streams here. Now the what is the, the problem statement is given the concentration is given either you can set it in terms of concentration or in terms of mass fraction. If you are uh, in the in case of mass fraction you have different options are available units are available that is 0 to 1 mass fraction uh, like 0 0.1 0 0.2 like that in mass percentages you can set in ppm you can set in ppb you can set. In this case uh, for us the concentration is given. So, Na2CO3 is 15 gram per liter, even the units are available in different units you can set the concentration. In this case, it is given gram per liter, let us go with gram per liter and NaCl is 5 gram per liter. So, that is it, rest all we go with the default values and click OK and let us simulate this particular case. So, yes, it is a simple problem, um, MND balances uh, uh, ended successfully. When you click on this, the output composition is uh, 1500 uh, liter per batch. And uh, if you notice here, uh, 22 kg of NO2CO3, 22 22.5 kg of NO2CO3 is there, 7.5 kg of uh, uh, NaCl is there. And also concentration you can notice, uh, we set it for 15 gram per liter, 5 gram per liter. Based on this, the quantity has been drawn. So again, you go back to uh, these streams, you can notice initially it was 100, now it has become 7.5 kg. And also here if you notice that is Na2CO3, it is 22.5. Uh, 5 kg and water uh, it has drawn almost 1478.66 kg has been drawn from this stream. So, this is when you know the quantity and many cases comes where we do not know the quantity required, uh, but so, uh, like uh, depending upon some requirement this need to be drawn. So, let us simulate that case also. Uh, let us go back and this is what the case be where depending upon some condition uh, uh, that uh, from the intelligent mixer that is the mixture preparation procedure the quantity need to be drawn. So, let us go back to unit procedure uh, mixing bulk flow and let us use this uh, mixture preparation and we can use one more uh, procedure uh, uh, where it is easy for us to define uh, the uh, or demand the quantity from the intelligent mixer. So, I will go to mixing again. I use uh, one more equipment called as custom mixing. So, if you want to know what is this custom mixing, let us go back to help command and you can notice here. So, this procedure can represent any scheme that mixes two bulk flow streams where one of the stream or one of the two stream uh, is allowed to assume any value in order to meet the specification in the outlets. For example, you have some 50 percent glucose I need to dilute it to some 20 percent. Then you can guide the adjustable stream to add uh, any other liquid like it uh, definitely it will be water to dilute it to 20 percent. So, in this case you can notice this is what you call it as adjustable stream. If you just place a cursor here this becomes adjustable stream and this is a stream which is called as process stream which need to be diluted. So, let us go back and add a stream here, add a stream here and uh, we can uh, go back uh, and also uh, this is the output stream and we can set this uh, input stream here to this particular adjustable stream and we can add the streams here, go back here and uh, here again we will add it and we can add one more uh, stream here. So, let us uh, initiate this one, uh, we go back and add the, uh, this is water. Uh, again water if you type you will get an error. So, I will make it as water 1. So, next one this is as NaCl, NaCl 
and uh, this again I will make it 1 because we already NaCl is available uh, this let us make it as Na2CO3 again 1 I will make it again this one I will make it as something like feed uh, feed and uh, yes so let us initiate this particular stream let us go to water and initiate this and uh, this one let us initiate with NaCl and uh, this one let us initiate with Na2CO3 and again go back to this one uh, operation now uh, we do not know what quantity uh, need to be prepared uh, that is depending upon the requirement in the uh, like uh, by the custom mixer so that is the reason I will select define by the process next one uh, the composition we need to set here like NaCl and Na2CO3 uh, one is 5 gram per liter other one is 15 gram per liter let us go with all the remaining uh, with uh, and default properties here when you type the define by the process input throughput it is it will be calculated later so if you have chosen here set by the user if you know the quantity we need to select the set by user click ok and uh, here let us the feed uh, we will initiate with water uh, around something like uh, 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 100 kg per batch 100 kg per batch click ok now I will go to a custom mixer and go to operation data here also again custom mixer is kind of an intelligent mixer where we have to uh, adjust under uh, different criteria so you can notice here set input ratio set output flow for example whatever is coming out of this mixer uh, there are components are available if you want it to be set to some particular concentration you can set it here as I already told if you have 50% glucose I need to reduce it to 20% then it depends upon the output composition means in the, under the output composition you have one particular component concentration need to be set here for example in case for example I have uh, Na2CO3 need to be 10 uh, gram per liter then I need to select this 10 gram per liter accordingly the water or this adjustable flow will be set but in this case what happens I need to set based upon input ratio so let us set this mass ratio as 0.5 means so 50 percent of this feed uh, stream uh, this particular uh, may, may, uh, quantity need to be drawn from this custom mixer 0.5 indicates that how much ever you are sending it to this particular custom mixer uh, the based on that flow rate 50 percent need to be done from this uh, particular mixture preparation equipment that is what it says 0.5 ratio could be based on volume also total amount in the mix stream so different criteria are available in this uh, case our uh, requirement is how this will be drawn from this uh, like uh, mixture preparation equipment that is the reason uh, it is enough like uh, uh, ratio based on mass click ok and let us simulate this particular equipment. So calculations are done so our goal is when you see this output stream a uh, total flow rate is 150 it is uh, like correct why because this is 100 initially the feed stream contains 100 kg per batch so I have set mass ratio as 0.5 accordingly it need to be drawn from this particular stream that is the reason total uh, uh, output is 150 and if you notice this particular stream 50 kg of mass is drawn from this particular stream so based on the criteria this particular uh, uh, like uh, uh, mixture preparation equipment has been calculated the quantity if you go back to operation and you can notice here initially the throughput was 0 based on the calculation based on the requirement so 50 kg of mixture has been prepared in this one so concentration remains same 5 and 15 but quantity is drawn is different because in the previous case it was 1500 liter the whole quantity you are preparing in this case the uh, based on the requirement it is 50 kg so according to 50 kg how many uh, how much quantity is required it has been drawn it is now you can see here 0.24 kg is uh, drawn from this particular stream and here uh, around something 0.745 kg is drawn from this particular stream. So I hope you understood depending upon your requirement how to utilize this particular mixture preparation stream. You can even have some complications for example here we have connected directly uh, this particular stream to this uh, mixer if you want you can add one uh, pump here for example in this example file only it is given you can go to transport near you can liquids you can uh, use one diaphragm pump and to this diaphragm pump you can connect of this particular stream and from this output of this diaphragm pump can be connected to this intelligent mixer so again we need to initiate it uh, initiate the Na2CO3 but here what happens if it was directly connected to this stream it will choose it as auto adjust but in this case it has connected to the through the diaphragm uh, equipment that is the reason here we need to set it as 
auto adjust auto adjust otherwise you will get an error so here we need to set auto adjust and here we no need to bother because it's an intermediate stream uh, it will be drawn from this stream and does the calculation let us run the simulation and it is telling uh, we are not initiated so first let us open this equipment operation data we go with all the default parameters click ok run the simulation yes this error is disappeared now again if you uh, go back to this one the same quantity is drawn from this particular stream also so thank you for watching uh, please do not forget to subscribe